Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you this really simple 70s inspired kind of uh, bohemian hairstyle. I don't know when the next time that I see you be, but I'm watching the moment. Start off by taking a pretty good section of hair. You don't want the braid to be too puny. And it's just going to be kind of towards the middle of your head. And all you're going to do is begin braiding it. Home is where I'll find my heart I can love you steady Through this storm About to start And the condensation's freezing on the window And the warning cries are coming through the radio And my heart sings Even if the wind blows strong one tip that may help is that while you're braiding you're going to direction that braid towards the back of your head so that when you're securing it back there it won't really fight you on it. Next I'm just going to tease, 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 tease and you know you can tease as much as you like and as much as you'd kind of want a big poof back there I usually a my hair doesn't tease that well and then on top of that I just don't want some huge crazy looking poof in the back but um, that's completely up to you how big you want your poof to be in the back Start. So after you're done teasing, you're going to want to make sure that you flip the hair over and make sure it looks presentable and not like a rat's nest. And as you can see, I've kind of already done that. And then just use a mirror, as you can see I'm doing here, to make sure that the braid sits nicely on the poof in the back. And of course it still looks messy. It's not going to, I mean, I haven't made it look perfect. Um, I kind of like that it. You know, with bohemian hairstyles, they're meant to look a little imperfect and more natural than, you know, some wedding hairstyle. And you're going to direction those bobby pins upwards, as you can see, in a crisscross motion so that they hold each other in place and you've got really good, a good sturdy braid in the back. And the warning cries are coming through the radio and my heart. And for the other braids, you're just going to put that right on top. And because you already have those two bobby pins in place, you might not need as many bobby pins on this braid. Because you can just get, you know, I've got a decorative bobby pin right here. And you can just kind of slide that into the other bobby pin so that it's already kind of hooked to... Uh, something that already has structure. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Please let me know down below what you think and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, please check out my website, asksash88.com, where you can sign up for email updates so you'll never miss out on any of my videos or other fun things that I have going on there. Also, I'm going to be starting a new channel schedule where I get a new video to you every Tuesday. And sometimes I'll even have a bonus video on Thursdays. So definitely subscribe. About to start.